it's Max Fisher here from A Better Universe. It's Fired Up Fridays. We need to get motivated, dedicated, inspirated. Guys, we need to make it happen. 13 days left of the challenge. A little eerie of a number, but a little less than two weeks to get on it, get your goals done, get what you can done, make it happen. Uh, if you guys have been sticking with it, getting your goals, hitting them every time, not missing any marks, I congratulate you guys. High five, man. Sticking to it, making that commitment. That's actually, uh, you know, a lot of people can't do that. That's the problem why, you know, 95% of the world isn't successful is they just can't commit. They just can't stay true to that word after the mood has passed that they said the word in. So, for those of you that are on the other side of this fence, kind of like myself, <laughs> I haven't fully committed. Some of the things uh, we haven't been doing right. I mean, I've been waking up early. I've been waking up at five, probably 90% of the time. But you know, that other 10% that's lost, it's wasted. It's, you know, you're building, you're building the momentum in the wrong way. Maybe, uh, maybe if you haven't been meditating every day, maybe if that's only at 90%, that extra 10% might be that little bit of happiness that you're missing. I don't know about you guys, but you know, I'm kind of awful hard on myself the days that, you know, I don't hit my goals and I don't achieve what I'm trying to get to that day or that month or that 60 days, you know, if I kind of fall behind, I feel a little hard on myself. But when you fully commit, even at that 10%, if I'm hitting it 90% of the time, I still feel that that nag, maybe it's just my personality, but when you hit it 100%, when you get that, when you when you dig down deep and you find that underlying belief or that you know self-limiting idea that you can't do something and you dig it up and you make it and you commit to it and you, it's just who you are now. Like, I don't have to make goals to work out anymore. I work out three times a day. No problem, it's just in my system, it's what I do, I understand. Now, should I balance it more between yoga calisthenics and metabolic training and maybe, you know, focus a little more on some maintenance? Yeah, sure, those are kind of goals I have, but I have higher goals than just, you know, getting lean and losing pounds because I've ingrained it into my system. I have advanced things that I want to do. That's how your life needs to start to progress. Like, right now, obviously, I'm still young in my meditation and my inner development and my in I feel like my intellect is sharp, my understanding is sharp, but my actual practical knowledge of the inner working and the sensations in your body and the energy, it's still, it's still rather young. It's, it's incorporated into who I am and I have a high belief for it, but it hasn't become, it's not just something that I'm doing every day and I'm, you know, I'm trying to uh, reach like Buddhist, Buddhashiti, which is the higher form of Buddhashuddhi, it's once you've organized all the elements in your body and you come to a total cleanse, you reach Buddhashiddhi, which is the higher form of that. So right now I'm still working on Buddhashuddhi. I still have to cleanse the elements. It's still, I still have to work on that every day. I still have to, you know, get to that point where I'm controlling the energy in my body. But what I'm trying to get at here is if you're hitting it 90% of the time, that 10%, if that's making you upset, if you're being hard on yourself about that, then you, that other 10%, it's up to you. It's, it's your responsibility to make that other 10% happen so that you can be fully fulfilled and happy. Because I know I'm not going to be fully fulfilled and happy if I only give 90% in something. Now, if you just... If you're trying to hit this goal of meditation, you know, seven days a week and you hit 90% and you're ecstatic with that and you're happy and you're like, wow, I can see all the progress. And that's a win, guys. That's a win. You have to enjoy the journey. That's the whole thing. And I understand enjoying the journey, but there's a certain, you know what you want. And if you know what you want, and if you know if you're only hitting it 90% of the time and you know that 100% is what's going to really, you know, make you happy, make you not have to think about it while you're doing other things, while you're trying to relax, you're thinking about that because you already got it completed off the list. If you know that 10% is what's making you kind of on edge, kind of 
a little diseased with yourself, it's your responsibility to make yourself fulfilled and happy and get that last 10%. I hope that makes sense, guys. For everyone, it's going to be a little different. We're all unique. We all have, we're all on our own journey. We've all experienced different things. So for everyone, it's not going to be the same. Maybe, maybe if you meditate for five minutes a week, that's your goal. That's, that's what you want to do. That, that fulfills you. That's okay. That's your goal. It's not about me or somebody else or what they think. It's about what you want. It's about what you truly want. Don't settle for anything less. If you truly want to reach enlightenment and you're settling for, you know, settling for less than that, then at the end you're not gonna, you're not gonna feel it. You're not gonna, you're gonna know that there was more that you could have done to bring you to the point that you wanted to be at, and that's gonna not sit well with you. But if you do everything that you got and you just go after it and you give it that 100%. And even if you don't even get to it, the journey is so much more enjoyable because you don't have that guilt and that nag, that overwhelming block on your shoulder knowing you could have just, if you just, if you just did it, if you just could have mustered some of the strength and energy to just give that whatever, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, an hour, you know, it's about sitting right with yourself, not anybody else or your goals or your dreams or your aspirations. It's about... Come into peace with yourself. Come into joy, come into bliss, finding happiness inside, knowing what you want and accomplishing it, going after it. So, with that said, in these two weeks that we've got left, I want you to go after it. And if you haven't given it 100%, if you know that you hit that 90% mark, you, there's little tweaks that you can make. The life is about course corrections. Obviously, if you don't hit it 90% of the time, you need to change the plan, change change the action, find something different, new that works for you. We've got two weeks left. Two weeks, 13 days to be exact. There's so much more of you that you can give in these 13 days than you're probably even ready to admit. But it could be the course change of your life. You can change one degree at a time or you can change the whole entire picture 180. You can quit your job, you can give up all the materialistic needs, you can move over to India, hike the Himalaya mountains and go and zen out for 100 years or whatever until you reach whatever state you're looking for. You gotta realize it's all a choice guys, it's all a choice. The problem is we're ignorant to the fact that it's a choice. And we're ignorant to the ideas that we built inside of us, these self-limiting ideas that say, oh, I can only do this and that, and I'm not this or that. It's a choice, guys. That's all we're, that's all we're really coming to recognize is that we want to take all of this in. We want to, it's our own power, it's our own, you know, magnificent ability to harness. And you have to take advantage of that and realize it's a choice no matter what you do in this world and what you want to accomplish and any desire or aspiration, any job you take, what time you go to bed, how much you work out, what you eat, everything's a choice. So if you're not making the best choices for yourself, you're probably not going to end up with the best result at the end of this. We might have all made some bad choices these 60 days. Me personally, there was one time I dipped, I didn't wake up every day when I wanted to. I didn't hit my meditation every day that I wanted to. But I'm making that progress towards that, guys. I'm trying to change it, making those course corrections every single time, finding a new plan that works, something that gets you out of bed, keeps you out of bed, doesn't make you hit the snooze. Morning routines to make you meditate so you get it right done out of the way. Not necessarily out of the way, but just so you make sure you get it done, you don't get caught up in the day. These are the kind of things we gotta we gotta try and do to make these next 13 days powerful, and the rest of the days past that. Because after these 13 days, we're starting over again. We're gonna do 30 day a sprint challenge. We're gonna make it happen. We're gonna take something that seems out of reach. 
and make it happen in those 30 days breaks some self-limiting beliefs. Most people can overestimate what they'll do in a day, but underestimate what they can do in a year, three months, one month time. 30 days, guys, that's a lot of time. If you focus your effort in 30 days, 30 days you could lose 10, 15 pounds. In 30 days you can build a website. In 30 days you can build and launch a business. In 30 days you can, you know, get that new job. In 30 days you can sign up for those college courses. In 30 days you can, you know, build and design your new product and start the process to getting it, you know, started and developed. In 30 days, guys, you can write half of a book. In 30 days, you can go out and live your dreams. So in these next 13 days, start thinking about that. Start looking for these course corrections that you need to make so that in these next 30 days, you guys can crush it. You guys can kill it. You guys can get after it every single time. I'll let you guys know right now. I didn't I didn't hit the planche. I'm not even close to hitting the planche. That was one of my physical goals I told you guys I was going to work on. The front lever. I'm at a three second straddle. In these 13 days, I plan on getting a full front lever. I plan on working on that planche. I plan on trying to get that planche in these next 13 days. It's probably not going to happen. But that's not going to deter me. That's not going to stop me because there's more. There's time after that. There's these next 30 days where I can really pour it on. And if I give time to these two weeks saying it's not possible, then I lose that opportunity. Can't do that. Just because it's almost over on this end doesn't mean it's not going to start back up. Doesn't mean there's more after this. Always remember, this time is a, you're always running out. Ever since you were born, you've been running out of time. If you have to have that sense of urgency, that sense of taking advantage of every single day. We're moving on. It's time to revise, refocus, relook, whatever you gotta do. Do it now. This is your Fired Up Friday, guys. The weekend's coming. And just because it's the weekend doesn't mean it's time to rest. There's plenty that you can do to move forward make your life exactly the way you want it. So, with that said, take full advantage. Become a weekend warrior, and I'm gonna see you guys on Sunday. This is Max Fisher here, from A Better Universe, your mind-body-spirit connection. Peace.